Yo, 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 yo. Oh my oh, shit. Guys, Golly. Guess, guess what time it is? It's 400 o'clock. 400 o'clock. Another Tuesday. That's right. Folks, welcome back to the producer lounge. Uh, if you're new here, we're going to chit chat about music production. If you're not a music producer, Fuck off. Yeah, piss or off. stay. <laughs> or You're stay. not going to have any idea what's happening, but that's okay. <laughs> um, Basically, my aunt. Right. Yeah. Who Shout refuses out. to not listen. <laughs> Shout out to his aunt. <laughs> um, what's her name? Tanya. Tanya. Shout out Tanya. Big shouts. Shout out my Shout grandma. Out Tanya. She actually watches yeah. yep. all of Grammy. the intros of our podcast. Grandma and watches. then she's just like, Bails out. out. Shout out, Grandma. <laughs> Shout out um, for the soundboard. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> As for you, Grandma. Uh, folks, it's a it's a big episode. We got uh, we're we're on 162, Ooh. which we have not hit before. That's true. It's huge. It's co- it's coming up on 169. It's true. Oh, oh. it's gonna be oh. a good episode. It's close. Yeah. Anniversary of 69. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anniversary. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and folks, we have uh, the legend with us here today. Who, who oh, is shit. it? Who is it, Caleb? Who, it's who's Tanya. here with us? It's Tanya. It's Tanya. Tanya. Welcome Guys. to the pod. Hey. We got Woo. Dave's on. Um, and she <laughs> identifies as Copycat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AKA Buster Maverick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, uh, <laughs> it's copycat, guys. We, uh, we we're dra- all here in we the same room. Dragged him here all the way from Australia. Yeah, yeah. Um, we basically kidnapped him, <laughs> threw him on a plane. And we're like, "Yo, yeah. we'll let you go, but you have to you have to do an hour with us." Yeah, and right. <laughs> At least an hour. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how endurance goes. Yeah. Kidnapping is a part of my country anyway. That's how we end up down hey. there. So it's it's all hey. cultural for me. It's healthy. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> also, I got <laughs> got this if you want it. Oh, thank Extra. You. Oh. Hell yes. More more devil juice. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> Evil juice. Yeah, that's good. Um, also, chat fucking showing up today. We got a bunch of buddies. Inspecta, Fervor. Yeah. Welcome, and Voyage. Yeah. Uh, Chat. If you want to ask questions, you can ask questions. But you we, have to. You have to. We're uh, keeping this twenty bucks at related, least. though. Don't troll. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I even brought that up. Now they're gonna fucking. Troll. I, know, I know. You you open Pandora's um, box, Dave. God. We we got a couple shout outs here. Uh, Free CRT, <laughs> at risk, shell base, and Inspecta. Inspector uh, with the actually, late follow. Yeah, Inspector, you don't get a shout. <laughs> wild, wild. You You've been this on long, the podcast, <laughs> and now you're following. Inspector, Bruh. Jesus, Bruh. Dude. you get a new, you get a new Twitch. You know what? Just, just ban him. Oh, it's a new Twitch account. Okay. Ban this this guy been getting into trouble. Okay. Yeah, what are you saying in chats, dude? Yeah, why, why you need a new one? <laughs> All right, uh, music production. That's what we do on this podcast. Guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's right. Well, we talk about it. It's true. We don't do it. Well, we sometimes do it. Sometimes we sing about it. We break out into song and dance, you know? It's true. That happened once. <laughs> that didn't happen. I wish it did. Maybe it'll happen tonight. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Fuck it. The night is young. The night is young. Oh, yeah. We got Wes Anderson. What's up? Oh, <laughs> Pandora. Oh, 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 yeah. That's, that makes sense. Yeah, Came that's okay. definitely okay, the okay. energy okay. of the night, it yeah. seems. Yep. <laughs> you know what I just did? It's called... Uh, um, Manifest interaction. What what do they call it? I don't know. Is it where, you, stuff? where you do shit on social media to get people to interact with you? Oh, like clickbait. Oh, interaction. What bait? Is that called it rage is, bait? It is bait. Oh, like troll bait. It is troll bait. bait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can troll all you want. It just means we're getting more interactions, which means what's the strategy, dude? He's just grifting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> don't think um, I don't, don't know what I'm doing. Really yeah, dude, he's grifting. Stop grifting, yeah. dude. Yeah. Don't be a grifter. It would be kind of fun <laughs> to do like a like a rage bait TikTok channel where you just do things like horribly wrong, but preach it as if it's like the right, correct, like oh, new man. technique that just to piss absolutely. people off. That is basically <laughs> what we do. <laughs> that That's basically what we do <laughs> yeah, well, on this show. Folks, welcome to the producer lounge. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I usually... Kill all transients in my song. Mm-hmm. Usually, I'm not a big yeah. fan of transients. Yeah, so. I love Bitwig. Yeah. <laughs> Bitwig has a uh, transient splitter, uh, spectral uh, transient splitter, and I'll just take that thing, I throw it on my kick drum, and I just turn the transient all the uh, way, all down. the way down. Just, just, 
Yeah, you don't want it to I honestly, punch. I'll just solo the body. That, that's yeah. going to hurt people's ears if you make it's a, a punch. We're not trying to punch people's eardrums. You're not trying eardrums. to scare people. Yeah, you know, <laughs> ease everything. In. Yeah, no. yeah, you yeah. can't, you can't shock like them with a transient. Side. Come on, <laughs> the fuck. No I like a smooth <laughs> kick drum. <laughs> Diggy over, over, over here with the uh, transients. You mean unhoused? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. That was a good. That was a good zinger. Um, Diggy showing up. But how's Jesus. uh production been now that you've moved? Up here into the great old U.S. of A. And are you all set up with a stew over there and shit? It's, uh, I mean, the stew would be a, a strong word for what I have set nice. up right now. Yeah, but yeah. No, it's good. I, I have a lot more time to just do arbitrary shit. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I think being able to just, like, play shows and live off of that means the weekends are busy. And then during the week, I can kind of just mess around. So oh, that's mm. a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is a dream. That is literally that's, the dream. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's, pretty good. That's great. Yeah, definitely a good time to... Also, like, meeting people out here, I feel like there's just so many people who have shit to show me that I would never have learned. So Mm. it's definitely just stimulated a lot of, like, walking around. I don't know how much of it is productive, to be honest. (laughs) Making lots of weird noises. Every single time. It's all productive. It is. It's all chops. It's all building into the next thing. That will be the interesting thing that you do. Ideally. It'll at least impress other producers, which maybe is what's paying my bills. Who knows? (laughs) Well... Let me ask you this then. Here's a weird random question. Um, I have been, my struggle right now when I'm making beats is having some good mid-range content happening. Mm-hmm. I I just like, yeah, yeah I go, I'll throw a rave stab in. Sure. Uh, I don't want to do a squeaky <clears throat> tipper noise. <laughs> yeah. You're missing uh, out, bud. Uh, balloon yeah. sound. <laughs> my bases, my bases <laughs> have some mid range in them usually, uh. but like, yeah. What what is your go to, or or what are you fucking around with right now as far as like mid range? Um, I think it's between. I mean, like I've always gravitated to plucks and that sort of thing. Because, yeah, I was like, noticing that shit today. Oh yeah, like <laughs> most gym. of my songs is like a sub, some drums, and a yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But uh, it's good because, like, spectrally, if, like, most of the bass music, like, things that I like outside of plucks, if you just, like, put them all on a spectrum and did, like, a heat map of where they're okay. occupying the spectrum, there's just a big dip. In, yeah. Like, they're, like, I don't know, I'm going to say, like, 1K to 3K range. There's yeah. just nothing in there. So, Correct. like, plucks just sit right in there and do all the work. So, oh. big on plucks. Some um, kind of a rhythmic plucky kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, And then also with bass design, I'm definitely finding like doing chain splitting and doing like distortion uh, and then like boxing it to that area. So like I keep my sub kind of clean or whatever or like have my sub a certain way and like everything up to like 500 hertz is kind of tailored to just have like good bass. Up to 500. Somewhere, I don't know, this is kind of an arbitrary number I just pulled out. I'm interested interested in the number though. Yeah. Yeah. It It wasn't out of nowhere. No, it was, you know, low mids to bass. Yeah, okay. Is its own group. All right, all right, all right. a group for the I, li- I, I mean, I like 500 as an idea. Yeah. Personally. Okay. Yeah. I always do my cutoffs, like, like around, like, 200 or something, so I, I'm interested in the idea of, like, 500. You guys are yeah. blowing it. Come That's on. That's, like, beefy. <laughs> You're on the 400 podcast? You go up to 400. Five. Yeah, damn. You Jesus. know what? You know what? Yeah. Always 400. 400. You know what? Come I, on. Forevermore. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what? How fucked would that we'll actually be? If like I liked it. Don't heckle. That was Thank great. You. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, on my own podcast being shut down. Yeah. Thanks, folks. Uh, I'll be here all week. <laughs> 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 Something we were uh, talking about a few weeks ago is this this weird trend that's been happening the past whatever amount of years, but more recently is a lot of the mids are getting scooped so much more. And you're really a lot of people are just leaving like their sub and then the up to the 500 or 400 harmonic range. For and us, then they yeah. just have their one little like high end whatever the fuck thing happening. Mm-hmm. And it's honestly it's kind of sick. Like I really like that feeling of like the mid range like it's there and it's present, ha- but it's like tucked more. I I don't know. It's just a cool feeling to me. I, I like that shit a lot. I have a theory on that. Oh, um, okay. that I've been developing. In my lab. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah? You got beakers? You got, you got some beakers in there? Right. Yeah, yeah I do got beakers <laughs> and uh, <laughs> condensers and coils and all sorts of glass. Uh, um, but that the scooped vibe there 
if you think about it, it leaves room for a vocal. Yeah. Um, but it's not meant for a vocal because it's you know some weird bass beat. But I think it resonates because we're we're all listening to instrumental hip hop basically at the end of the day, you know, and it fits that vibe. Like there isn't there's a big scoop when you listen to instrumental hip hop. Maximized. Yeah, it's instrumental hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. It's <laughs> maximized, so but it still has yeah. that zone because if you put anything there, it no longer kind of sounds mm. like instrumental hip hip hop. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this is just a theory, guys. Calm down. Before Reddit destroys me, guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just make some potions, guys. Calm down. <laughs> but, I don't know. I I think it's interesting to think about that. Honestly, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. But then there's, like, the weird <laughs> anti-people who do that, and, and it's just, like, full-range sound, which is me, <laughs> like, yeah. almost right, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to do the cool, like hip-hop thing, and then I just fucking... I always end up with, a, like, a massive, just mid-range, full-spectrum sound, and I'm like, okay, well, that's, true. that's my that's my song, but, I guess. We're yeah, here. I mean, don't the smile it, is but. not my wave, either. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a flat. Yeah, I have a hard right time Right now, at least, it. I'm pretty flat. Mm. Just. Flat gang, baby. I try to go flat, but <laughs> there's like always, the earth, like, a... Right? There's always, like, a... And it's yeah. having a hard time around 1K. Yeah. And, and then it, it kind of <laughs> comes back up around 5K, but it's, like... I don't want to put anything there. I like the way it sounds. <laughs> I'm curious to say, like, well, I'm curious to think, like, do you guys, if you're trying to achieve, like, the balance with a mix, sure. do you think it's better to re-EQ the same mix to make it flat or to add elements in mm. in the gap? I think it de- it's mm. song dependent oh for sure. God. But I would say the healthier way would to be put something in the gap. Yeah, I right. would put something yeah. in the gap. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, th- I, th- I think oh that's the healthier. The for idea phasing. of that makes my brain fucking just be like, <laughs> "Oh no, don't yeah. fucking <laughs> yeah. don't eat." But me. but also at the same time, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I'm gonna well, try and right. push There's this funny. shit out of some random mids. I've yeah. done that on like a singular track, but not like mix whole mix wise oh, no. to try and bring the whole thing up in a certain area yeah mm-hmm. i mean see i like holistically i feel like it would be better to add elements but i tried this uh because i started like when i do dj sets i'd put some of my demos in and like mixing out of something that sounded good it would just like lose energy and, I'm like, what the mm-hmm. going on? and then literally like before i bounced out demos i just started like referencing with span or something like that sure. just looking at it and tried re it and it actually works better than I expected. I still think <laughs> realistically it's more ideal to like add elements in if you're trying ah. to like sound a certain way. But then also your ears are biased. Like well mine are for sure. Like yeah. I'm pretty oh, sure yeah. I have like Same. if you drew like how responsive my ears were to certain frequencies, there's a dip around 3K. Oh. So all of my shit for ages was like, there's this big bump in 3K. Oh, mm-hmm. Nolan hates the like, frequency. Like, I'd show him my mixes and he would be like, dude, this hurts my ears. Why do you keep boosting 3K? I, I heard Damn, nothing. Okay. Were, I heard nothing that I felt that way, which might mean that I also have that problem. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't think it's... Re-EQ. I felt like your shit, every single song felt like it was a nice high, you, higher range area. Um, yeah, and I'm usually pretty crazy. sensitive to that. Like, I, I feel like my mixes will end up having a little harshness to them mm-hmm. without me trying. It's probably my KRKs or my room or some shit. But mm-hmm. uh, I always have to fucking tuck that shit away. Yeah. Right. I actually, uh, on my master, I just take a, an EQ and boost the 4K range, like 10 dB. That makes sense. Fucking amazing. Especially in the yeah, club yeah, yeah. on a loud yeah. on A really loud tight system. A tight Q. Too. Yeah, a really tight. So it just yeah, yeah. rings yeah, you, really yeah, hard. Make sure yeah. it rings. Oh. Oh. That's how you do it. Yes. Get your message across. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do not do that, Inspecta. We're looking at you. Quite the... Yeah, yeah Inspecta. <laughs> Inspecta, don't do that. Yeah. Hey. Or or do. Maybe try it, bro. Um, yeah, break the mold. That's hilarious. Uh, also, shout out Ryan at risk in the chat. Hey, He's at boy. risk. I think he moved to Colorado. Really oh, hell yeah. What's up? We should bully him so he leaves. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's, a, he's a home dog. Is he taking our jobs? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not taking our jobs. No. We yeah. don't have good jobs. I'll, Says yeah, you, dude. That's fair. <laughs> I make <laughs> slightly <laughs> above minimum wage. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> job is tight. Dude, this is the dude. Dress for the job you want, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thanks for right the follow here. there, uh Wes Anderson. Yeah, it is Anderson it is says, weird though. I, I keep 
I, I don't, maybe I am going deaf too. That kind of scares me now because my mixes through through the months just keep seeming to get brighter and brighter, and I'm no. like, oh, but the the appearance and like the presence. Brighter is there. probably good. <laughs> like, I don't think it's probably good. Huh? I don't think that's no. I think that's just you realizing that you need to make your shit brighter because mm, it's I hope so. it's been better as of recently when you've it's made cool. things brighter. It's just it's easy to get cluttered up there, mm-hmm. so you just kind of have to choose what's going to be bright, but. Yeah, that's the next. Step, I've right? also been like trying to figure out what the high end needs to look like in a more constructive manner, and it's mm. it's easy to get out of control, obviously. Mm. Yeah, what I, is a uh, what's your high end look like? Like uh, Caleb and I have discussed um, in the past, like uh, having some pretty mellow high end, and then kind of doing some hard compression on the high end to kind of bring out all the uh, little things or something, or you know, are you just like tailoring, like highly tailoring what is up there? Um, I don't know. I think I'm. Uh, I I would say like I, I think balance is probably more important than volume with high end. Mm. That's at least the 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 like area I'm at now. For to be okay. honest, I feel like there are a lot of other artists that do high end more like consciously than I do I'm very much focused on like the bottom end and like Mm. maybe my drum transients and then top end like um Mm -hmm. as long as I feel like flatness is actually nice like as long as it's like relatively flat and balanced it's good it doesn't have to be like a certain volume and the only time I really think about like the actual like volume of the high end is when it comes to DJ sets. I'm like, if I'm if I mix out of something that I want to mix out of, and then it suddenly just like you notice it, energy, yeah, yeah that's when that I'm shit. like tweaking it. <laughs> right. But that's the the re EQ with span, you know, like as much as yeah, you might throw a shelf on there. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shelves. Also, I saw someone asked if I'm anti high passing stuff, uh, and the answer is yes. Uh, don't fuck with high passing the bass. Shelves all the way. Amen, brother. Really? Yeah. I keep hearing that a lot. Mm, I'll do it maybe. That scares me, though. With mm. a I'm lin- linear. Go, go like, on. Mm. Go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. Why, talk what, what talk is it? more about that. What is the magic well, of the shelf? Okay, I will say, like, there, there are instances where it's, like, okay. Like, if I'm doing sound design and I can, like, see what's happening to the sound with the high pass, I'm okay with it. Mm. Um, but I think sometimes when you get a sub bass or your kick drum, like, working a certain way. Okay, I'll high pass kicks. I'll say that. I'm okay with high passing kicks, mm. but mm. subs not as much because like any unless you use like linear or something like right. that, um, which comes with pre ring and its own right. like sort yeah. of fancy quirks. Um, yeah, yeah, you change the phase super quickly. Like you don't even have to bring the f- cutoff close to the base right. to create a phase. Just shift. immediately happens. Well, yeah, yeah there's no which, room down there. Exactly. It's yeah, one to the other Im- immediately. It's they're crazy. so close. Yeah. And if like if, it, if you do it and then it sounds fine or it looks good, then that's okay. But I think if I'm at the point where I've already got the sub, it, like positioned or just like already sounds good, I'm not. I like won't touch it with a high pass because it'll just completely shift the phase of the fundamental. Right. And that mm. for me is like. I don't know. It's Terrifying. like it's like it's like a producer brain thing though. Like you know how certain things like you don't do not because it actually is bad, but just because like it, it upsets your like you know your ethos. Oh yeah, right? yeah, hundred percent. It's just like it upsets me to think. Yeah, about it. <laughs> it's when, political. When yeah, I got yeah. when I got super intrigued right now, my <laughs> my high stupid brain was like thinking of a uh, low pass. Oh yeah, oh, no, and, I'm big on low pass is actually big. Low yeah, pass is in, in I will. Pass. I don't. I don't fucking high pass my fucking. Yeah, I don't. I don't low end at all. Yeah. Uh, rarely. Every once in a while. Every mm-hmm. once in a while, we'll throw one on there. I mean, mm-hmm. there was like but, a big like people were promoting the shit out of that for a while. Yeah. Right? Like between yeah. like 2014 and 2018, everyone was like, <laughs> get a 48 dB high pass. Yeah. On the <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because it's it's nice because if you put it right on your fundamental, it just boosts your fundamental too. So you just you know yeah yeah it's, it's two perfect. for one it's two yeah. for one yeah you get a fatter sub <laughs> yeah a free fatter yeah. sub yeah. and we don't know why yeah who Fair knows enough. yeah, okay, that's some no. strat. yeah. <laughs> I'm like ninety five percent sure I remember seeing a video of Dead Mouse on his master on Fab Pro Q. You know how you can do the brick wall filter. With like the the yeah, cuts, it's like like beyond forty eight dB. Yeah, like yeah, just insane. the most extreme. He will do that on his master at like thirty thirty hertz or whatever. Who? Dead mouse. And well, I yeah. well, if Dead I, Mouse I, is doing it, yeah, yeah, you know. Damn. <laughs> but no, but also, <laughs> fuck I mean, that. that's terrifying. I mean, look, Dead now, Dead Mouse knows everything. I, he and, does. Uh, he invented electronic music. Yeah, so. he basically invented yeah. electronic music. 
We wouldn't have. Yeah, you could tell by we, all we, his we tattoos. We wouldn't. be playing instruments, which yeah. is cringe. <laughs> Cring- Don't play Ew. Instruments. No, that's a joke. I like instruments. <laughs> you got this look on you, like no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not very into <laughs> instruments. I have a bunch in my room, but uh, yeah, I grew up on instruments. I'm. I'm not really very into. It. I'm just high right now, and fucking that's my look. I give you. <laughs> I was trying to process like five things at the same time. That's all that's happening. Now. Dead mouse the instruments. Uh, I, I was trying to make jokes, and then I was feeling stupid about my joke. <laughs> I was like, my my joke wasn't actually that good. I wish I hit him harder, well, and I didn't to. have it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't gotta, have the hardest joke that I wanted, and yeah, I was feeling bad. We got um, a question here. Yeah. Also, real I quick, along <laughs> we got yeah. a lot, we got a lot of chatting. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Before, uh, if you guys have questions, will That's you guys like? Long will you guys yeah. highlight them in chat? Because if not, we we might they might just get lost. Um, and orphans. Oh, and end all yeah, orphans. Also our yeah, army. end all so, orphans. Oh hell yeah! But do you compress bass? He says screaming. I don't yeah, know why he yelled. I don't know. I, all I don't know. Yeah, yeah. all caps us, but. Bass. Yeah. Um, that's a sure. fair question. I used to compress. compress I used to compress bass a lot. Like I'm, I'm thinking sub is what he's talking about. I'm, mm. I'm thinking strictly mm. sub. Are I'm you talking not. just sub? or Are you talking full? full Let's just bass? roll, roll, roll with it. Um, yeah. I used to compress Everything. it a lot, but now I don't at all. Mm. Rare, rarely. Mm. Maybe if it's like a really, if I'm trying to do something really like dynamic with it, mm-hmm. I'll like. Compress it only until it like grooves right, but mm-hmm. that, I'm just kind of like finding with the attack and release a gonna groove with it. Um, but I don't both sub and your dynamic. He or she says. Um, I feel like lately I'm just were they? saturating, I'm just calling it good at that. Uh, fucking yeah, poof. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, saturation just generates overtones, which you can then low pass out anyway. So right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like compression should be in like this. The like for me, it's like in the sound design phase. Like right. when I'm actually making the sound, and I want the bass to feel constant, then I might add some like limiting or compressing. But once it's in like the mix point where like the bass already sounds the way I want it to, and the kick already sounds the way I want it to, I don't want to like yeah squash everything. You yeah. want those those little right. bumps and stuff that like right. you feel that in like the sub. I reckon. Well, yeah, mm. especially when when it's loud. Like those yeah, right. those small little micro movements are key. So um, true. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. think you said the magic word, limiting. Like I, I, I wouldn't necessarily compress, but I will limit uh, mm-hmm. my sub for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AKA compression. <laughs> uh, there we go, John. Two uh, signs. Yeah, John. Oh shit! Out. Can you kick people out of the chat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We should kick John out of the chat. Actually, I'll, I'll ban another him. Buster <laughs> Maverick <laughs> reference. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. oh, this is my homie from school, Danny. What's let's up, go. Man? Let's go. <laughs> Dude, that one Instagram story is just <laughs> fucking you right now. Yeah. Oh. No, I asked people to do this. It's yeah. actually working perfectly. Ah, that's hilarious. I'm rebranding right now. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Buster Please. Maverick. We'll, we'll, Buster we'll put that as the Maverick. YouTube title. We don't put copycat. We yeah. just put Buster Maverick. Yeah. Folks, we got we Buster would. Maverick. We would. Yeah. Uh, uh, John wants us to make a joke about two sine waves walking to a bar. Um what? Are we gonna give that to John? Are we gonna indulge him? I don't think we we can't indulge the troll. I mean, I love yeah. to do, indulge jo- indulge John uh, in however he likes it, whether it's a dick sucking or uh, oh, shitty yeah. joke yeah. quiz. <laughs> uh, Soft clip army has entered the chat. Let's go! I love oh, that. the ooh, sine ooh, waves ooh, bounce ooh, off ooh. the bar. Um, they bounce off the bar. So, <laughs> yes, maybe I like it. probably in different directions depending on where they're coming from. I like it. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Two sine waves walk into a bar and phase. That's what I was going to say. Oh, nice. Fuck. Yeah. In, in phase? Oh, oh, and phase. Is and and, phase? and, and yeah. phase. They okay. disappear. And then the joke's over because they, they're they gone. Oh, you know? shit. Wow. This is some high yeah. level shit right they now. They really perfectly bounced off that bar. Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not. Not likely. Well, I guess if they shot at different times. You're a quarter short. So this, I feel like this wouldn't um, be the truest episode if we didn't talk about noise bases for at least a moment. Oh, wait, is he talking about like a quarter is in like 90 degrees? And so they're like, 
out of, I don't know. Look, I'm thinking really hard. Yeah, about I'm this. trying to think real hard <laughs> about Kick what John. he said. Kick Johnny. He's going to ruin it. Yeah. John. <laughs> <laughs> it's going so hard. I got the Can I mute him? Says, You're a quarter shot. What? You're a quarter short. You're a quarter short. short? Uh. <laughs> Wait, I had two sine waves. <laughs> I'm All just right. kidding. I love you, Joan. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, I just kidding. We love you, Joan. I mean... Phase cancellation joke? Yes, correct. Huh. Phase, you're canceled hey. due to this joke. Oh, 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 oh that oh, would oh, suck, oh. dude. Don't cancel Phase. Dude, we're, yeah, we're yeah. Can- Not Phase. <laughs> <laughs> Not Phase. Dude, phase. Oh, phase. Phase oh. got canceled. Not Phase. Yeah. He can't. It's not even possible. I don't think he, yeah, it's not even possible. He He's too good. He can't. <laughs> Some people are just at that level. Future guests here <laughs> it, on the pod. Did we interrupt a question? Were we on something for a second? Well, yeah. we were talking yeah. about compressing the bass, but that had kind of moved on. And were then, you uh, bringing up something, Austin? I was. I was what thinking about something up? today. So uh, mm. recently, Mr. Cat and I did a, a, <laughs> a session, and I realized you're, you're hyped on this... Um, this concept of like distorting or playing with just the the top cycle or like the positive cycle or the negative cycle mm. of the harmonic. And it was making me think about how like a lot of people will do some sort of like audio rate flutter where you like tune your mm-hmm. your noise at like fucking 40 hertz or like whatever to, the fuck to get flutter. And then there's also like the, the ring mod trick where you're like tuning same same to yeah same Mm. same thing but then i was thinking like oh like this weird like if you're only focusing on half of the wave you're like perfectly in phase while you're like distorting half of it but it's also i don't know it was just it was blowing my mind earlier i was at work just thinking about that and i like (laughs) realized creating flutter with the yeah yeah, and like one side of the wave just one side like it's fucking genius yeah would would you talk about that i don't know what you're talking about so yeah i would like we were talking about noise bass because mm-hmm. I feel like noise bass is just kind of like a fucking staple with, like, yeah, particularly neuro music. This yeah. is the era. Yeah, yeah. we live. This, in. Yeah, we live. Yeah, we're like yes. we, we advanced from noise the bass era. era to yeah. the noise bass. Yeah, era. yeah. yeah. it <laughs> was uh, sine waves before. Now it's noise bass. Noise yeah. sine waves. <laughs> yeah. I like yeah. to call it the the fuck you bass. Yeah, because it's yeah. just <laughs> yeah, you can't you. ignore it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but like my kind of like. Because I, f- I find, like, just, like, ramming a sine wave or, like, a sub and noise together into saturation just, like, doesn't do it for me anymore. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't give me the dopamine it used to. Fair. Mm. So I use a wave folder to create the noise because, like, basically if you drive any sound into a wave folder enough, it just folds it down and then, because it hits the other ceiling, back up mm-hmm. again. And then it just does that so much that it just turns into white noise. It's high frequency. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, so I, I will take a bass ram it into a wave folder to make it like noise like specifically the one that you're using in uh, the situation or just you're generating noise um oh specifically the bass i'm using yeah so i can feed like an 808 into it. you can feed anything into it and just turn it into noise if you drive it hard enough yeah um and then i'll use another uh instance of the wave folder so i use m wave folder specifically the best Um, it goes let's go melda let's go melda they need a kiss melda we've been we've been kissing them for years Mm -hmm. yeah we've been kissing them all over up in in here (laughs) um but i use the m wave folder and it has uh an a like symmetry knob so you can apply the wave folding to one side more than the other okay so i use a second instance of wave folder basically i like dry wet the 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 instance that's doing the noise so it lets the sub back through so i'm just getting and then the the sub Mm -hmm. and then i'll use the second instance of wave folder basically just to like distort one side and what happens is you get like an asymmetrical like where like one side of the waveform is coming through clean so you get like the noise in the sub and the other side the noise is getting distorted crazy so it's like and it's like half rate so it's like using a ring mod and and ring modding it to half the rate of the sub yeah Yeah, it's fucking so sick would that be like the bias perhaps yes that's exactly what that is okay yeah okay Mm -hmm. it sounds good because the wave folder generally these like weird squeaky little artifacts mm-hmm. as the volume dips off because it kind of like right it's is synthetic, drifting out of the... it's like a synthetic gate yeah as, as it's dropping yeah. out of uh yeah the threshold yeah. yeah and it gets like because you're forcing high frequency content out of this sound by volume as the volume drops off it kind of like 
like the the noise that's coming out of it kind of drops down the spectrum, so you get this like yeah at mm-hmm. the end of it, which sounds really nice. So, uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I fuck with that. But, yeah, I feel like I, it's definitely easier to show than <laughs> like literally just described a sound. I know. I, know. I mean, you did a good job. You yeah, did a good we job. We do that constantly on this show. Yeah. I watch <laughs> clips and I'm like, hopefully people understand. I know, some right? Of this yeah. shit. Right. Yeah. I get. I bet you. I know who won't understand it. Aunt Tanya. Yeah. Aunt Tanya. Sorry, She Aunt doesn't Tanya. understand shit. Yeah. <laughs> She's just watching to, you know. She's know. supporting. Yeah, I, I remember when, when we were doing our <laughs> session, you were, like, showing me all this. <laughs> and I was, I was like, following it, and I was, like, under, like, I understood what was happening. But then, like, some reason today I was at work, and I was, I just thought about it, and I was like, fuck, like, that's the thing. It all it all just clicked, and I was <laughs> like, I, I don't know. It was a fun moment where I was like, yes, phase and stuff. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I feel like it happens when you're at work as well. Like I always, when you're like not in front of the I computer, know. do you realize Fucking shit about production? Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> totally. Mid work, you're. Fuck! I need to work on this thing right now. Yeah, and you yeah. do like a I gotta shitty think job about of this like other thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. right. Uh, uh, we're just gonna ignore John's question. Okay, um, sounds good. No, uh, <laughs> he he says, when will noise base go out of fashion? And what mm. is the evolution or next step? Ooh, Mr. What is the Cat? next step? John, you stole one of my no. questions, dog. Damn. What you doing? He, well, he copied my it Sounds fucking, like it's a my test. I mean. Yeah, what is it? Should I should I uh, do What do you, you think happens? Yeah. yeah. Do your best. What do you think happens? Um, when noise ba- when will noise base go out of fashion and what is the evolution or next step? I mean, like, it's all just ear tickling, right? Like, the whole point of a noise bass is you've got big bass and then maximum stimulation in the treble. So it's just like whatever <laughs> fills that area of the spectrum will probably Correct. replace it. AKA, the, when the next patch <laughs> drops, dude. Then yeah. Mm. <laughs> the next patch drops. New new bass. Yeah. Uh, we've There'll been, be we've been talking about this shit. new patch that's going to drop. The new, <laughs> we the don't new know. Bass. We don't bass know what two. they're going to do. The devs are hard at work right devs now. Devs are hard yeah. at work. Yeah. And who knows? Yeah. It might be a war with China. It might be a new bass. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what the new wow. patch is going to yeah. be. What if China yeah. makes we'll a probably new get bass? Both. Oh, my we'll God. Probably get both. Uh, I'd be aware of that. I mean, China could make some basses, I bet. For cheaper as well, probably. Yeah. Probably, but they wouldn't be as... They probably and be they, thin. they would simultaneously somehow make more money off of it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, bon, actually, Bonnie very no, I, I actually agree with this. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Everything is like Vocaloid, but like like deeply melodic, but like Vocaloid processed melody. Like totally agree with that. Oh, so are we are we gonna get like color based noise base, color based fuck you base, or like I don't vocal? Know what that sounds like yeah. That that could be interesting, right? I mean, yeah. I like the idea of making your noise base more of a synthetic. Noise, like rather, mm-hmm. I mean, white noise is synthetic, but like the way you're getting it with M wave folder is it's getting that that really synthetic feel, um, mm-hmm. which is already a kind of offshoot from just using white noise or pink noise or JSP90 and Serum or whatever the fuck it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're already on to a next evolution of it. Yeah, for um, sure, for sure. Yeah, I definitely would say things trying to be a little bit closer to like a Bon Iver. If we're talking about bass music, we we are in perfect line with that shit right, <laughs> right yeah. now. Let's <laughs> <That's true. laughs> make I mean, bass music. Ivy yeah. Lab is the wave. Yeah, Ivy Lab is. Ivy the Lab wave. Oh, is the the fucking They should collab with Bon Iver, shit. dude. Ivy Lab dude, with Mr. B. Crazy. Holy shit, that would be sick. That, that would be, would be yeah. insane. <laughs> I said that as a joke, but it would actually be yeah. kind of sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make a clip, tag them both. Let's tag get them both. it going. Yeah. Let's get going. We start that. We started that. What's up, you we know? were the first ones to have that. We idea. should get like ninety percent royalties. <laughs> Bo- Bone Ivy. Bone Ivy. Bone. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's, Ivy Bone. That's so good. That's actually Ivy right. Bone's not bad either. Bone oh, Ivy. Whoa, like a fucking frequency shifted. Animal. Yeah. Oh good. yeah. Oh yeah. Good guess. It's like That's it's like you know how music like, production things yeah. work. <laughs> I've seen a door once or twice. Yeah. Yeah. So. Really. Yeah. That's <laughs> sick. <dude. laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a delay and uh, a frequency yeah. shift. Yeah, it's got a delay and a frequency shift. Audacity. F- f- fade to gray or whatever the fuck it is. It is like a fade to gray. Oh, wait, thing. is it like a gyroscope? Yeah. yeah, it's it's oh, on that f- laptop right there. Yeah. What the fuck? You've got like a filter. Yeah, it's a MIDI f- fighter. Yeah. What the flying fuck? That's great. <laughs> is it this one? 
No. What What are you looking for? I was looking for the X Files. Oh, I know. I have no idea. Wait, is it fucking hot? A better faster, stronger. Hey, welcome back to the producer lounge. Yeah, do some back on the beats. What we doing? Dude, that's um, unreal. <laughs> Best. I'm a rapper, board. obviously. I did. Yeah, I did notice that. Yeah. Nobody has a soundboard so, like call this me podcast. L- Right, it's true. What? Some people call you what? Uh, logic. logic. All, all the time. They're always yeah. like, dude, are you logic? They and do. I'm like, they do. I they get do that, that a lot. Yeah. They do. That. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, hilarious. It's a uh, professional show, everybody. So we, this is a totally different uh, tan- tangent we're going to start right now. Um, and he, go. We uh, have been chatting with Tom Finster and Johannes, the two of... Uh, Don Kong. Don Kong boys. And because uh, they have a Twitch and they do feedback on Wednesdays. And so we've been kind of hanging out in their chat and sending them tunes. And Tom grabbed a couple of hours and he was talking with Dave about putting Disperser on his kick. Mm. And so now I've been almost religiously putting Disperser. Because <laughs> I also like the moment I put it on there and like. Tailored it in. It is a like, fun thing to put on the kick. And then you yeah. A you A B it and you're like, that's better with it. Like, yep. what the fuck just happened? What 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 have I been missing right now? Like, what is this? <laughs> it's fucking great. Do you know do you know about this? I don't when we say no about this. I don't think anybody like specifically told me to do this, but I have also you, you done this. With it? And okay. It's it like this is one of those things that like upsets my producer ethos. I'm like, you can't right. you can't do I know, it. Exactly. Phase. But I've yeah, I like I mean the, I have a tune that I really like. I put disperser on the master. Whoa. Oh and my god. It made the fucking bass and drum <laughs> sound better. Go. And I was like, Let's I gotta go. turn it off. I have to turn it off, but it sounds good. Like I like, can't do this. <laughs> That's fair. But it, yeah, it does. Cause it That's like fair. It, I mean like because really, if you think about it, like a lot of drum transients are this pitch envelope going from high to low, yep. and that's what disperser is doing in like a phase shift kind of way. It's moving it so that the lower frequencies happen that tiny bit later. Mm-hmm. And so with kicks that don't have like a really prominent transient, it'll just force one in there. I did it on a snare today, and it sounded fucking great. I was gonna say I'm about to try it on snares. Can I say fuck? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Sorry. You actually fuck, have dude. to say fuck. That's so <laughs> fucking about. I, I mean, I dare you to try and say something. Thing you can't say. Yeah, Jesus yeah. fucking Christ, dude. Don't say that. Uh, don't Please. tempt me with stuff that I shouldn't say. Hey. You seem like I'm a, a sweet country, heart, you know? dude. Yeah. You seem like we're a from sweet the freest heart. country, so. Yeah, yeah. this Remember. is America. It's a can, free, free speech. Can that be baby. the trend of the, the rest of 2024? That's everyone's homework right now in chat. Not yeah. the people watching later. Fuck those Say guys. the thing Everyone here right that now. you don't think you should say. No. That's no, your, that's not where I was going. That's no. your job. <laughs> Go out there and say the thing. No, you're supposed to do it in chat right now. Yeah, oh. So I can, <laughs> doing, okay. so I can record so it. This guy, e Putty Audio, is from Perth, which is probably the most evil place on the planet. And he knows, oh. what, to do, and he knows what to say. Oh, so God. I love you, mom. What the fuck, dude? That's dude, fucked up. That was you too far. You're gonna get a Jesus. Yeah. Restraint. Ew. Who are right. you even talking to? Mods, God. can we take care of him? Yeah. Please? Mods, mods, get, mods, get on, on that. Get him out of here. Yeah. Take him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <he's gone>. <laughs> <laughs> Silence here, dude. They got him. Rainbow Six rolled up to his fucking pad. That was a good silencer sound effect, too. Damn. Dude, I was a fucking uh, an army kid. I was playing army with my fucking brothers and shit. Damn. Yeah. No, yeah, you dude. weren't. Yeah. No. <laughs> no chance. No chance. You're right. I'm an only well, American kid. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. Fucking playing, playing army. army. Yeah, right, son. Land of the Unlikely. free. Um, Land of the free. <laughs> so yeah, d- disperser is sick. <coughs> um, yeah. So that's everyone's homework. Disperse your master. Yeah, I Just sent him a see tune. See what happens. Uh-huh. Uh, he I wanted to play. He was that. like, I need, I need this like low end to be a little bit heavier. Who? Or or like more Tom. like thumpy. Oh, okay. He sent me some face uh, to reference. Which is a and sick I'm like, I, I think I think it's kind of hitting like a face thing, kind of like it's not obviously. Mm. But because it's comp- it's a it's a D is the low end, so I'm pretty sure your face is wasn't a D because yeah it's hard to reference. It's a very point, different thing a D versus like an E or an F or a G or something like that. It's fucking yeah. crazy. Uh, I want to say he sent me a disperser at like one thirty or one forty or something, uh-huh. and I'm like, he's like, 
just sent me a screenshot. He's like, put this on the kick sub yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. And it really fucking it slapped That's when wild. I thread that shit on there. I like it on the top end as well. Like if you take particularly with drums, mm. if you pull it like right up so the roll like the curve is happening like three K onward or higher. Okay. You get this little like Mm -hmm. like this little three ring like mm. treble comes in before everything so you're not really touching the mid-range as much but it's just mm -hmm. this little and it yeah the, you know what i'm saying this little that's <laughs> a it's little like a, it's like a i gotta fuck with that have, have you wait, ever wait, played with it, um is it like a kind of it's like a what you know like uh, a yeah it's, it's a little bit different yeah it's not quite like a it's like a oh uh, uh, yeah, you, yeah. Guys, uh, I feel like you, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody should clip that so in case I forget. Have you ever played with uh, M Freeform? Free samples. Freeform right phase? I was going to bring that up. Yeah. It's like Disperser, but free. Yeah. And right? Yeah. Much more customization. Dude, I'm fucking obsessed. Wait, just, what is it? Uh, M Freeform phase? Yeah. Yeah. Melda again. Oh my Melda. God. Melda. Shout out Melda. You guys they, are They doing have a God's freestyle work. disperser? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It, free, it break dances for you, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Freestyles on the spot. It drops bars. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's logic, Bitwig dude. actually just added a multi pass or uh, what do you call those things? Like an all pass. All pass, yeah. yeah all, all pass. To the grid. Yeah. They just added all pass to the grid. Dude, that and they have this I don't know what's happening. I I just know the word because I use Blender quite a bit and they have a distortion or a is it a distortion or is it a noise? A noise, yeah, that is Chebby Chev is oh, what it's yeah. called. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, that's distortion. I'm pretty right, sure. Right, right. And in Bitwig, they in the Polygrid, they have a Chebby Chev, mm. and I, you know, <laughs> it has a little graphic showing like what it's doing to the waveform, but it's kind of like I don't really. I, I'd like to know what, like what is actually happening. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's my like, new yeah, favorite like, thing. That's not what it's doing. Right. <laughs> and it's it fucks shit doing? up so yeah. fast. It fucks shit up so fast. But it yeah. like at like half a percent or whatever. <laughs> oh my god! It just makes shit sing. Half it's, a percent. Yeah, uh, dude. Like it'll it make is a like bass. That. It's like that. Yeah, dude. It'll make a bass tone just <laughs> hit. Just yeah. immediately, it just it just mm. fucking mm -hmm. gooses it just right. In no way that I've heard any distortion do ever, which mm. is like. That's what I search for. I just sit there and mine all day to find like <laughs> the new nodes that distortion can hit. Yeah. It's like, is that Chubba is Chubb just journey. a man? It's just like a picture that like gets <laughs> yeah, distorted. It's a Mexican that's man why you're looking at it going, that's not what it actually does. That's a, that's a here, man. Here, we'll, 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 we'll pull it up real quick. Oh, are we going in the duh? Oh, we'll we'll the go dog. in the duh yeah. real quick. How dare you? I agree. The this dog. is not in the oh, duh. Oh, shit, wait, you actually, did an in the duh, didn't you? I was you? just thinking that. I'm like, that's way too, like, so unrelated. <laughs> but <laughs> Hilarious, in the though. With, yeah. um... I mean, Bust a Maverick. it's not that unrelated. It is a music yeah. production related podcast. Yeah. Uh, YouTube show. I guess I should. Like oh, we dude, are. I love that we're sitting in front of Bitwig right now. This we're actually going to get mm. uh, into Whoa. WoW. Whoa. <laughs> fucking Whoa. Bitwig. We're actually going to go play some WoW real quick, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the WoW Lounge. Dude, All right. Chevy Chev. Because mm. it's asymmetric. Is what It's like yes. asymmetric and okay. some kind of like wave folding, I feel like. It's, mm. But mm -hmm. it, it fucks. And <laughs> it fucks. It fucks, dude. Let's just open this real quick. Get out of here. Dude, they're on beta 7. Hurry up and release it. Yeah. It's 5.2. Bounce. Let's. Dude, I know one day. I'm actually glad that you guys consistently show this on the pod because you're kind of just teaching me before I inevitably make the switch over to Bitwig. There you go. I'm still just not ready. We're doing that work for the whole world yeah. on this podcast. Right. I kind of agree. I feel like Bitwig is where it's going. I know. They just, right? oh, you just Pitching. did a thing they I didn't know you could do. Yeah. You the drag, drag on to the, on to the yeah. Dude, I didn't even use Bitwig that much, and I, I knew that. <laughs> Damn. Get with it, Dave. <laughs> Jesus. I don't I don't fuck with the grid much. I'm sorry. What I've been you learning. Do, I thought that's what oh you do. <laughs> it that's hasn't been do. what I do. I mean, it is a door to be the free. modulation. You can make music the modulation is everything. <laughs> like I said <laughs> earlier, I, need it. I agree with that. Um, so you can see here, it's got a little guy, like it's gonna show what's happening. Our special little man. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's wave folding as hell. Yeah, it's, it's like it's wave folding like careful. a sign, like a smooth. Way like we go low. Do you 
you reckon Chebyshev is like a guy's last name? I hope so. It has to like be. It right. sounds assume, like a name of a person. A, yeah, yeah. some yeah. German guy who was fucking around with or, this in the 1950s. Right. That's yeah. probably how this happened. Right. Caleb, can, yeah. you, can you give us... It's so good. It's so good. This is mine. Das it is, is mine. mine. We will name it after me. <laughs> this will make the perfect noise base. <laughs> <laughs> now kill the Jews. Yeah. Caleb, will you give us a, a pro Q or a <laughs> side scope? One oh or the yeah, other. yeah, tickle or both. Our, tickle our eyes. Yeah, Easy. tickle the eyes, bruv. Mate, my eyes, bruv. It pops. Oh, oh, what's, Mr. What's Mr. That? Noisia plugin over here. Oops. Have you not seen this? Oh, Vision 4X. Uh, I mean, I've, I don't know. Oh, wait, it, it doesn't I don't work. own it either, dude. Yeah, I want to get it one why day. Why does it have a river running through it? Yeah. <laughs> why does it have a river running through that it? Is Noisia a, loves rivers. It's such it's a, a like, Nettle, Netherlands <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> it's a dynamic. <laughs> nature was in <laughs> It's like the bottom and top of the dynamics of where you should be, basically. Yeah. Oh, it's like uh, a spectrum. Yeah. yeah. It's oh. on the spectrum, and it, it's on the it spectrum. shows you... Like, we have it set de uh, default for pink noise. Oh, it's um, like Fletcher Munson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. Yeah, All it's this that. Fletcher. But oh, you can set Fletcher it to different Munson. things. So basically, yeah, you want it to kind of... S All your sounds to sit in the area. That's pretty If you were in, tone. like, pink noise mode. Yeah, that's I'll pink. And, and then you have, like, kind of a range to sit in for what sounds good to you, I guess. I like As, like, kind of a bass level thing to think about i've been using it recently and it fucking yo changed dude your second life. harmonic dude you're fucking up caleb yeah you're outside of the river noisy is never yeah, gonna yeah, put yeah, you yeah. on vision now dude, dude. <laughs> See, it, it, it this like thing is causing some serious low end uh whoa but look at that from that shit that is the fundamental there's just some bottom end yeah dude i bet you could do some weird form and shift with yeah, this if you did it in parallel end. and just yeah. got some weird Especially because there's no like pitch driftiness happening. It's almost like additive y. Yeah, I reckon if, yeah, run this parallel to just the sub by itself and run then it. use that to like form it and distort those yeah, together yeah. afterwards. Yes, yes, let's go. Let's, let's make a bass. Right oh my God. It's let's happening. make a bass. Yeah. Yes. Put, put the Chevy Chev <laughs> after that. <laughs> Uh, so like parallel and Chevy Chev just yeah so uh, it and then put a distortion after the mix up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's use or after the ADSR if you want. Yeah, oh my god, guys. I'm so hard right now. That's amazing. Yeah, this is erotic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that distortion. That's nice. That and is then, nice. yeah, fuck with the, the Chevy Chevs. Crank it up there. Oh, let's go. It's some Wook bass right there. Woo! We're, we're getting borderline excision over here. Also, did Noisia plug-in die? Oh. A little noisy plug in. Yeah, we violated the river. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it shuts down up Dude, the, the police are coming. Yeah. <laughs> the beavers built a dam, dude. It's done yeah, for. Yeah. I love this. Give this some, uh, give that some range. Give us some more. Oh. Oh, sir, are we are we at like F one? Can we go down an octave? Yeah, we can definitely go down. Oh, we can go down. Oh, shit. Can we get down right now, dude? Yeah, we're going down right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Oh my god. Dude, we're going down. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're on a low C right now. We went down. We okay. We went down. I asked for it. I guess. Let's, let's go more range. <laughs> no, that's that's Wook bass. That sure. yeah. Oh. This is great. Okay, so this is like so all now of my sounds. They sound like this, everybody. Wait, that the one. Fold. Hit the fold. <laughs> that sounds silly. Don't, don't hit the fold. Get rid of that. <laughs> okay, give it. You know Caleb. What we should do. You know what we should do. We should change this oscillator for a fucking uh, phase one. Oh, Graham. Why did it sound so much better all of a sudden? I know, it's kind of so good. This phase one oscillator is the shit, dude. Damn. This thing's so cool. You got like a normal oh, That sub. sounds nice. Yeah, that's got some asymmetry that 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, that thing. That's the thing. Yeah. We'll oh. say, like, asymmetry. Like, a lot of analog plugins sound good for this reason. Like, they have mm. that, like, DC offset and the waveform are not perfect in a way that's, like, real ear candy. I mm. feel like the, like, mm -hmm. like, asymmetry in waveforms is, like... Mm. I mean, also, it does add, like, like, even harmonics. Like, that's kind of the link. Like, even harmonics create asymmetry. But... I think your ears just like that. I don't know. It just feels know, like because right? like if if a sub is moving like perfectly backward and forward, it sounds very like unnatural, mm -hmm. which can sound cool. It's like mathematical and pleasing. But then sure. when you get asymmetry, your brain starts to perceive it as like more natural. Right. You've more got this like more organic yeah. movement. It's more right, right. physical. Because yeah. because in it, nature it replicates the physicality of it. In yeah. nature, you're never gonna find a sine wave. Or yeah, if you, you do, mm. maybe you get like a single cycle of like an explosion yeah. or like whatever the fuck. Yeah. Or, or a like saw that's wave. gotta be rare, like right. a perfect sine wave yeah. in nature. Or I couldn't imagine. maybe one of your friends has a synthesizer and he can play you a sine wave. Then you'll hear it oh, yeah. in Shit. nature. Yeah. That's yeah. Technically, you're hearing it in nature, dude. That's that's true. Not to burst your bubble. <laughs> if it's digital, <laughs> if it's not digital, then it will have other harmonics right. and it will not be a perfect sine wave. <laughs> if you if you look at a fucking Moog fucking yeah, shit, saw yeah. wave, it does not look like this. Which is yeah, why this phase, you know, it's fucking. Uh, yeah, it's this, some shit. <laughs> which is why this yeah that version sick. of a sub sounds cool because it's not yeah. this perfect fucking version. Wait, can I can I commandeer this? <laughs> yes, yeah, I'll show you the wave folder thing because it's fun. It's yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show it. It's I a sensitive mouse. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yo, chat. <laughs> get your I'm bodies ready for this shit. All right, let's. So we just literally need. Oh, there's a little bit of delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> that's the most wook sound you should ever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We make wook, oh. wook shit, dude. Yeah, we make. Do we out here? Welcome back we, to the we Wook don't Lounge. Not. Hot wooks in your area. <laughs> um, all right, so let's just start. I mean, in this area, sign me up. Wooks. Some hot wooks. Maybe. All right, let's make this just like close to a sub. All right. Uh, where's the Already sounds so much better than a sub. Yeah, I know. See, just like it's like close to a sine wave, yeah, but with a little bit of oh, a little sense. bit of special curvature. Yeah, a little it. bit on the spectrum. It's exactly. Nice. Yes. Oh. Um, I forget <laughs> where the uh, distortion <laughs> units are in this. I have no idea. Uh, I cannot help uh, you. Shaper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> there is a okay. wave folder folder, too, if, if you're looking for that. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna do it. It's not high enough. All right, oh. wave folder. Hopefully, I can get enough. That's almost there. Almost. I'm gonna have to gain that a bit more, I think, to to create oh, the most powerful wave. Base. The most powerful wave you've oh. ever seen. Shift scroll is very sensitive. Uh, okay, let's yeah. work that in there. Sorry. Okay, Damn, my my goober. small Ableton brain can't handle this, says Diggy. <laughs> Wait. Fold the folder. Fold the folder. Fold yeah. the folder. Yeah, you could just fold the folder. Oh, you're um, so right. Yeah, I can totally do, do that. Double it, Why am I being basically? a fool? How embarrassing. So if uh, anybody yeah. uh, does not have Bitwig, but you happen to have Melda, use M Wave Folder for what he's doing and just crank the drive. Till you get the poof. So you're not you're quite giving you what you want. So oh, actually, I don't know what I'm going to To walk us through this, folks, for the people listening in audio, he's basically making a very, very crumbly, crusty <laughs> base pastry. He's yeah. folding and folding and folding and folding. It's just like flaking. A, yeah, like a pastry chef. It's just going to be the best croissant you've ever had in your entire life. Dude, that sounds nice. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Yeah, this this noise sounds a little bit different. It's actually really I mean, sick when I do it at home. But I, don't I think know he has right Melda <laughs> if you want to just use uh, Wave Folder. I, could, actually, I, do I, have, do that. I do have Melda. How do, how do I, we do that? It, can, Doing can anything on the this. spot is fucking insane. You know what? Yeah, actually, let's let's do that. Uh, oh, I probably shouldn't delete the envelope. We might need that to not hear the noise all the time. Hey. Um, but yeah, okay, I can do chains in this. Okay, so let's do MWAV. Have you got it? Yeah, let's go. Whoa. Bravo, yeah. Okay, brava. Can I fold this wave for oh, yeah. Fold the wave, Andre. Honestly, the grid sounds better. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, it, just sounds, it sounds different. It sounds different, uh, which is good. I'm gonna do 
just a little teensy bit because it sounds a little bit digital. I'm going to modulate the sustain a tiny bit. Love it. Just to get some like oh, yes, yes, yes. Is that is that that's how it's done? Do it, man. No, that's not how it's done. I've decided just now. <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah, like, fuck you, Dave. As soon as I start making noises, it's like my I just get like ADHD. Yeah, brain yeah that's like, fine. Like, everyone it. leaves the room, and I'm just like fucking around by myself. <laughs> it like, may not be how it's like, done right now, but it is how it's done. Yes, you got to modulate run, all the random done. things. You got to find the things to modulate. Exactly. All right. So we got wave folder one, and then what I'll do within the chain, bro. Oh, within the chain. Yes, bro. It like that, and yeah, then it's we typical. fucking reset this drive because we don't want to be making too lots of noise. No yeah. need for that. Uh, oh, hang on. It's just one in it. Can't piss off the neighbors. Yeah. No. It, the neighbors don't like noise. That's for mm. sure. All right. Get me this window, and we let the sub back through, and then in this wave shape, wave folder. Reset the drive. Wait, hang on a sec. Oh, I fucked it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> drag one over. There, 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 there. I think you're right. I need to drag one over like that. There so, you go. Uh, so that's the one. This is the heavy boy. And that's the one that we want to dry wet. And then this one is the clean one, and we use symmetry. Wait, have I got these in the right order? We do it backwards. I think I'm actually doing Open that, one. Right. Nice. Open nice. one. Okay, yeah. hang on. Click, click on this button here. Yeah, I see. So I've got them in the wrong order. Okay. There we go. Okay. Well, there, there it is. I think. There we go. Yeah. So the uh, yeah. So I think oh, the yeah. more like slightly varied your like input signal is, the more like noisy the noise sounds. You can kind of hear like a digital repetition in it because it's like a very clean waveform right but you could run the shape on it you could also uh, let me i mean there's a thousand things you, we could do to there's a yeah that's literally music oh you gotta hit okay first oh, i gotta there you go there you go okay give me make a it final button. dude commit so yeah <laughs> so i might go about there and then in this section i'll just add another chain for the sub and then just call it sub. sub. Yeah. That makes sense. We're really on a Dude, similar wavelength. Look at you guys. Length, best friends over there. You still got to hit enter, though. It's like oh, we dude, know. I have to commit. There you go. Yeah, got it. Bitwig is like, are you sure you want to make music? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what I like is the yeah, tail on this. You can hear this like. <laughs> but yeah. That I think if nice. I add any sort of like squishy variance boy. to this. A little squishy. I reckon what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of variance to the shape here. Mm -hmm. That's how it's done. Don't say it, it's not. Don't say it's not. <laughs> I think maybe, maybe that is how it's done. Yeah, okay. All right, good. That's what I like to hear. I, I'm pretty sure that's but how yeah. it's done. Yeah, seems I like think, it. I mean, I did do it that way, so that's how it was done today. That's, hey, that's, as far that's, as, yeah. that's true, Indeed. bro. That's Take true. The <laughs> Take the mouse away from me. And it is how it <laughs> is <laughs> done. It's how it is done. So on the note of that... First ever Squeak. time, <laughs> copycat on a podcast doing a bass noise God live damn. in the flesh for in you. The flesh, babe. Nice. You're Woo. welcome. Go send him money. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so Ableton has this bit eight, their little uh, bit reduction and clipper thing. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it, yeah. but it has this gate on here. Oh. Which, if you start adding... Like a volume? Like it literally, once yeah. the waveform yeah. reaches a certain volume, it just cuts it yeah. like hard. Whoa, that's cool. And if you add their noise, their quantized noise, there's a way... Ooh. I like the squeaky. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we need more... Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so so yeah. It, it it trails off and you get all these little prickly boys. Yeah, you should, thank you. Suckle upon the orange. <laughs> <laughs> nicotine dick. <laughs> Fuck yeah, the nicotine joint. <laughs> Funky Republic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a new one. Me and my buddies have been fucking with. Super, super sweet. So be ready. It's so oh, nice. Oh, you fuck with Funky Republic? Dude, oh, I, yeah, dude. I funk the <laughs> Republic. He funks with it. He I funks with, with it. it. Is this like a pass it around? Thing? Nope. No, they, they have herpes, so. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, not yeah. for the Funky Republic. <laughs> yeah, I smoke actual cigarettes like a fucking man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what happens if we add that? 
Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Throw it into the um the M wave folder chain there. Throw it in there before the high pass. Oh yeah, in the chain. In the in the chain. In the, the chain stuff. part of the chain. After or before the folder. Actually, you know what? Turn off the first M wave folder and then put that in instead. So put that before. Yeah. Mate, that's crunchy, bro. That's pretty fucking nice. crunchy. It's pretty, nice. it's pretty nice. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, just know, another Kevin. reason for okay, you okay, so, to go download Bitwig. So they don't sponsor us. Andre, six. <laughs> they should though. What, what? It's a goal. Uh, you and uh, analog six. Uh, you smoke analog cigarettes. Yeah, dude, analog <laughs> cigarettes. Uh, Acoustic cigarettes. Oh yeah. Like you don't. Them. You don't I'd get be, the Nyquist problem with with analog cigarettes. I'm sure you don't. <laughs> Shout out <Sure>. Nyquist. <laughs> Shout out DJ Nyquist. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Nyquist. Dude, actually, he homie's been homie. on the pod. He, he is, is a homie. Yeah. He's a homie. <laughs> real, Nyquist. real. He's not yeah. DJ. It's not but DJ it's, Nyquist, it's but Nyquist <laughs> is his name. Damn, I didn't know that was a guy. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, he's a real person. <laughs> yeah, and he's. Denver guy. Manifest He's a sweetheart. Future. Sweetheart, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, I mean, while we're here, I got to ask. So now we, we, we can hit our single note, and we have a giant poof fuck you bass, right? But, like, how do we how do we give this that dope-ass movement that the copycat sound has? Uh, What kind of movement are we talking? Like, spectrum movement or, like, uh... Anything not how pitch How would movement. you go about moving? Yeah, how would you go? Uh, what's do, what's the next step? So I I feel like like sub movement. I like my sub to be secure and and and, yes. and solid. So I don't want to mm. move the sub unless it's a little bit of pitch movement, which is nice. A little bit of right, a like little wobble. bit. A little bit of that is nice. Wobble but is nice. Uh, I would add another chain and like create a box for the mid range, and then like do distortion pre that box. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I mean, like I feel I feel like I'm promoting something that Koan Sound like just like blew up in their Patreon with mm, like when sure. they, like, they released yeah. their videos on how to do bass, and everyone was like, "Wait, you can do separate chains?" Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I do a box, <laughs> yeah. so like yeah. distort the shit out of the bass. You start creating all these overtones, and then high pass and low pass to like oh my god, yeah, a specific mid yeah. zone. Yeah, and then you can volume right. modulate that or filter that so your sub is like solid, but then all the mid range is like moving and doing crazy. Interesting. Shit. Yeah, so you get like rhythm without losing your foundation I, right. I i've heard of them doing that on the high end uh i know austin was pumped on some cone sound things mm -hmm. and talking to me about it but they do like a uh low pass fucking way up and then mm. do some modulating or automating on that shit yeah a bunch of that but yeah a mid-range thing sounds nice too yeah, well, I mean, you yeah. can get like you can add multiple mid range bands as well because I feel like yeah. it, it's good for songwriting as well because I feel like what makes uh, rhythm interesting is when you've got different things happening in different parts yeah. of the spectrum. So, like, totally. if you're trying to, like, it's good to have that kind of control when you're at the point of writing a song because you're like, I know I want sub here, but like, relative to like where the snare is or where the melody is, like, I can sort of you know, like put in That's different right. like spots in the spectrum, yeah. spectrum kind of yeah. like whip it through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And something to add on to that, something that blew my mind part of their process was mm -hmm. they would take their little chain of like their high end or their low end or mid or whatever the fuck, and they would have an LFO on a reverb, and sometimes they would have their uh, yeah. dry wet go up to like 100%. On the so reverb. On the reverb, yeah. yeah. So not uh, only are you like, like inhibiting like all these crazy parts of the spectrum, but you're also like sending it back and forth through like and yeah. it's so weird because like when you when you see them do this you're like oh that makes so much sense for the sound but like before yeah. that you're yeah. just like this is weird like witchcraft like they're fucked up like yeah. what's <laughs> happening idiots yeah. <laughs> they're amazing <laughs> and yeah. that that's they're the so thing amazing. I think we were talking about that last week is just like oh no no I was editing a clip last week and someone was talking about reverb on a bass and like that always just scares me for some reason nah just put it in the mids I know uh, or put it on the bottom end. Just I've been playing. I've been playing. I've been experimenting. Yeah, I'm getting more comfortable, and it sounds fucking and awesome. Just because you reverb the sub doesn't mean you have to let the reverb stay or let the sub stay in the reverb after it. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. Exactly. Like, right. There's, yeah, yeah. There's plenty of, yeah. Out you out got you yeah. got control yeah. over the yeah. sound, bro. You are yeah. god of the dog. Yeah, you yeah. should yeah. be oh, doing shit. Yeah, all the EQing on your reverb. Dominate you. Don't let the dog kick your fuck up your reverbs before after. All these things Distort are like... Distort the reverbs. You yeah, yeah. you turn the sound on. You're fucking with it based on whatever kick drum you have or right. you know other elements happening, and you're just trying to make them all fit together mm. in a fun way. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. so also, here, here's a fun Do all one. these things. I, I don't see yeah, people see do a lot. Um, have you guys ever tried to play with... 
just making your bass out of a kick drum. Have you yeah. guys ever tried that? Yeah. I, I did yeah. that on, on a track. Oh. On one of the edits, I think I did. Like your bass is the kick? Yeah. Like you just process the yeah. fuck out of just a kick drum and make that your bass? I mean, I basically made a bass in kick two, so I counted it. That's for, I'll count it. Yeah, I'll count it. <laughs> <laughs> the sine wave yeah, plugin. I heard. Yeah. Uh, who's that fucking dude who makes like the kind of more ambient style electronic stuff? John. Oh. It's Gore. John. I think it's Gore. Wait, wait, say just repeat that sentence again. He he makes kind of ambient electronic music. Bonobo. That's very good. Uh, and he's John Hopkins? he's lit. Yes. Yes. Oh, I heard, I heard him. One give, time. give us a horn. Yeah. Yep, yep. Him yep. one time, he said, "You should just make your kick and your sub the same instrument, so that you don't have to worry about." Mm. Dude, he's on to some changing yeah, it's just like the a shit. Pitch envelope. We use like yeah. right. <laughs> but yeah. he makes yeah. like very ambient fucking like. Yeah. My music he's won't never work. Done that before. It he's doesn't just... work that way. <laughs> I know, right? I'm making right? like yeah. Jersey Club. Back to the content thing. Those those were the first dudes that showed me the the pitch envelope trick on a bass. Also, they're like obsessed with that. They'll push their little pitch to like for, uh, like forty eight semitones too. So it's like four octaves up. Also, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you really just get the fucking like, dude, little, little boy. Yeah, yeah, damn, psychos, lasers, dude. But it sounds cool. It sounds really cool. <laughs> you sound cool. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> well. Okay. Uh, What's this, boys? We've done an hour and twenty minutes. Oh my god! In the What's background, if you look at the like, uh, that's an eight oh eight, dude. Is that what that? Yeah, oh, I see. That's a fucking straight up eight oh eight. You want to go grab it? Play with it. Pull that's, it. Yeah, pull let me pull that the, off the yeah, wall. Yeah, pull it off yeah. the wall, dude. <laughs> I almost said yeah, that's. Well, you're not reaching far back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really. It's actually really it's big really and really far. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like ten. It's yeah, like yeah. fucking twenty feet. If high. you compare it to the CDJs, just think about how big it is. Yeah, the CDJs are. Man. Those are like normal size, but then also think about how small the the, the functions back here are. Yeah, we, we got oh, the okay. mini so set. The, wait, wait, oh, the that's just a toy function. Yeah, right. yeah, that's toy like, functions. Right here. That's like a. Mile they do away. sound sick. Though. <laughs> they the sound functions sick. sound good. They Dude, they sick. still <laughs> hit. They still hit. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'll be the first to tell you guys that N one Starfighter. It's real. <laughs> the what now? The N one Starfighter. Oh, that's the right ship? next. Yeah, that's yeah, right one. above your head. Yeah, yeah. One. yeah I also flew the that golden bomb. The yeah, he did. He flew here in in that. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a showed up, taxi. just dropped it out of it into our driveway. Pilot. It landed out the front of my house. <laughs> he picked him up in it. Yeah. <laughs> took him here. Manually flew it. Honestly, how sick would it be if you just had like a hundred mini functions? Or like a thousand instead of just big functions. You're like, yo, I'm rocking the mini functions at my my set today. Be very I high think that's and like heavy. the equivalent of a silent disco where everyone's just wearing headphones. Yeah, yeah. Like it's basically <laughs> what that is. Right, just all stacked. It's like put a bunch of headphones in a pile. Wow, just kill it. my dream, guys. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, stop dreaming, dude. Yeah, Fine. dude, just stop it. In fact, just stop going to bed to stay awake. Yeah, um, it's not a bad idea. Here, awesome. here at the end of the show, we like to uh, read some questions from Twitter. Oh, yeah. Andre, you oh, ready? It's the, the best place to get questions. The best from. place. Correct. And yeah. let me tell you, these usually represent Twitter pretty well. Yeah. I don't think Twitter exists. Oh, you're right. X. Excuse oh, me. I'm X. sorry. X. .com. It's yep. X. Sounds like a must, much less reputable site. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> let me hit the All right. stick. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> get it, bro. Question from Vorso's Sobapia Shop. Vorso? He opened a Sopapilla shop? I guess. Let's go, Vorso. Um, From what now? V Vorso's <laughs> Sopapilla shop. Do you know what a Sopapilla is? No, is this an American thing? No, oh. it's a Mexican thing. It's a Mexican it's, thing. Well, it can't uh, be from Vorso. He's nowhere near yeah. Mexico. <laughs> hey. It's not from Vorso. It's, no, from, it's from his Vorso's Sopapilla Sopa shop. Yeah. So it's like his employees it's not, post leaving. Nah, the it's, it's X. You don't know where it's from. It's yeah. Vorso's Sopapilla so shop. I don't know why Sopa I'm digging so deep into this. Listen, <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Russian no. propaganda. You don't know where it's from. <laughs> it could be it. a Russian yeah. troll farm. It probably no, is a troll farm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, I mean, here I can see it's in r Russian. It says, what is your favorite way to break the rules <laughs> in music production? <laughs> wow. your favorite That's a really open-ended uh, question. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Break the rules in music. Is this specifically me? It's for all of us. All of it. Okay, but yeah, so we all get to answer. How dare those troll farms ask that question? Yeah. And you, you know can't, what? You can't say disperser on the mask. Fuck the non-rule break. Yeah. 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 They're fucking Jesus. dividing us, dude. That's all I know. <laughs> They're dividing us. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, son. Um, 
My favorite way to break the rules yeah, is... Yeah, how do you break the rules, Caleb? I break every synth or any plugin I come across. Like, ooh, well, oh. how can I use this how it's not intended? So you get, like, your $14,000 analog Moog, and you just smash it on mm-hmm. your desk. Mm-hmm. You just break it. <laughs> see what happens. You're like, fuck the rules, dude. Or I see what happens when I plug power into, like... Ports it shouldn't be plugged into. Uh, while it's you, on. you take like a CV port and just yeah. plug like 240 yeah. volts in there. <laughs> <laughs> this man knows. Boom, you put break your headphones the rules. on and just get electrocuted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. You guys should try it. I like that. Dave, yeah, what you got? Strap. How do you break the rules of music production? Mm. Uh, in Russian. Um, oh my god, oh, I forgot we had that. Yeah. All, I, Man, that's all I basically do yeah. is just. D- Throw sound on there and then put plugins like dude, you know, fucking rebel over it. here. You can't do that. You I, don't know, I don't know plugins? what kind of rule breaking I'm doing. Oh, uh, guys, get this man. <laughs> I didn't go to school. I don't know the rules, guys. <laughs> yeah, we don't really technically don't know the rules. So funny. I basically I just do whatever the fuck. I I, I like chromatic. Guys, he grew there, up there's a, my there's my rule breaking. Oh, I, I like chromatic it chromatic scale. style. Hey. Wow. You like it chromatic style? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do. I do. Uh, Dude, hey, you can, can that go him. in the YouTube title? Chromatic style is like one of the little <laughs> things. <laughs> I don't know. That or it's just going to be Dave with white over his lips and it's, he's going to be a chrome addict. Cro- oh, oh, chrome is, addict dude, you, style? Are you, lo- are you logic? You a rapper yeah. called Logic? <laughs> Damn. Like, well. I told you, it happens all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you logic, dude? You're spitting bars right there. I dude. know. <laughs> bars. Music in my music, I like. Uh, <laughs> what you, what you got, Andre? Oh, how do you, how do you break the, rule. the rules? Don't, don't break the rules. The rules are there for a reason. <laughs> Be safe. Be safe out there. A lot of yeah. bad things can happen. Put on a condom, control. everybody. Yeah. yeah. Wear protection. Yeah. Bang it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I would say pull out. Pull, but yeah. Right, I mean that's like like you a homie who was saying he didn't even own the full like version of his door. He doesn't even save his projects. That's yeah. the equivalent Ew. of pulling out. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like you don't save any of your projects. <laughs> like that's Dude, that's the equivalent. That, that's the equivalent of not fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of. I mean, come on now, go go away. It's yeah. like <laughs> Mormon. Go away. Not soaking. Good. <laughs> soaking. You know? Marinating. So- that is yeah, soaking. Marinating. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No movement. Just in, <laughs> just and it, in, and then you have your and then you pull up, friend up. underneath the bunk bed, kick the top of the bunk bed. So you're not. Oh moving. my goodness! Why there's are you guys feeling so here, on this topic? dude. It's not very far away. They, it's Utah. Yeah, Utah. <laughs> one state away, baby. Yeah, we're close. Yeah, we got lots. Of I've known a few wow. Mormons in my day. Me too. Can wow. I can I give you guys homework on my rule? No. My breaking the rule. Homework, dude. It's fun. I'm, I'm trying your, to figure it what out. What is your rule break? My rule breaking is going to be not doing the homework. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. That's fair. That's fair. No, it's not fuck me up. I feel like I check really it. Derailed it, you it there, no, <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's the fucking derail lounge. That's how we do it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm trying to. It's not the club. rail lounge. I know that much. The derail lounge. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to figure out how to make stereo subs work and panning my subs. I've been playing with it and it's fucking weird. You just validated somebody in the chat who mentioned that actually. They're loving you right now. Yes, dude. That's my guy. That's my soul. That made. person should uh, donate. Fuck that person. <laughs> that person <laughs> should donate, guys. You yeah. should listen to our guests. Yeah. yeah. And then guy. stop doing stereo subs because yeah. that's preposterous. Mm, I know it is, right? Oh, man, that's, that's what I want to figure out, though. Is like, because that's always like the golden rule is like, if you fucking don't do your sub amato, dude, we're coming at you with well, pitchforks and the, fire. The, like, yeah. the problem I, I'm you. pretty sure is if you're playing on a mono system, Make it work, bitch. You're, getting, you're a producer. You're getting Figure half it the out. cycle. Yeah. You're getting half Damn, the cycle. Damn, he called you a bitch. Phasing. I called you a bitch, Caleb. Yeah. Dude, oh. but you're not oh, thinking of the math. <laughs> the no, math I am. Involved. I am. I there think I, there's got to be a way to make it work. Here's there's the math. There's got to be. Writer. Stereo. Sound oh. system. Right. That'll work, right? <laughs> stereo They'll sound plus burp do equals. It. They'll oh. give you stereo. For sure. Okay, so yeah. maybe maybe let's like not go stereo sub. What if what if you go okay. like panning sub? Right. That you can make work a little Still bit easier. Still stereo. Still stereo, but and if you're on a phase a in a club system sort of way, I mean, it would don't still be stereo. Don't play that at a club. Maybe that's fine. Well, you could but. play it at a club, but if the club's in a mono mix, nothing oh, right. happen. If we're ignoring the club, we're in a very different situation. All right. All right. 
I don't know. It's something I want to figure out. And yeah. honestly, it's a weird, dumb thing I'm just pumped on for no fucking No, I reason. like it. I like it. I like a... Um, I was listening to a Skrillex tune. Who's that? Um, this is well known. Isn't that um, like a Mortal Kombat character? Yeah. Like yeah. Sounds like it, right? He's yeah. the one that's right? like, get over here. I think he has that's like a guy? mohawk yeah. or something. <laughs> like, yeah. The one guy in right. history who said, get over here, it's that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ask me. Yeah. Uh I was listening into like a in a studio that I hadn't been in uh at all. And I was so you weren't like, even there. I, was, I just so. hadn't before that <laughs> moment like been in the studio. <laughs> Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Get this guy this is the producer house. lounge. This is the producer lounge. This is the way it goes. <laughs> okay. yeah. All right. Uh, and there were some moments where I felt like I was feeling like the weight of the tune, like really weirdly, like jolt in a direction. And in, I feel like that's what was happening. It was like in the sub range. It was doing a weird, heavy <gasps> sub range, like left, mm. right, kind of like oh. pan. But then it was just normal. Uh, like mm. for the most part, it wasn't. Yeah. But you just then had a they little would do flare. a thing, and you're like, "Oh, what the? What just? What did I just hear? That uh, was weird." Wow. You heard it here first. Skrillex pans his subs, so you should all. I do mean, that. I mean, just throw a fucking Vision Four X <laughs> and find out for your fucking self. I, it'll tell you. Right. Uh, but like, I don't know. I don't know if it was or not. It was just it, felt that way. Was it Supersonic? The noisiest Skrillex yeah, song? Was I that fucking one. knew it. Yeah. So it could oh. be Noisia. Super sad. Oh, could be it, yeah, oh, it could, it could be have noisia. been Noisia. Yeah, they're Yeah, they could be them doing the they stereo could, could, sub. Mm, you know. Teach me the way. How are you gonna argue with that? I yeah. will say there maybe is a thought to be explored here because I guess the limitation with stereo sub and like I'm not about mm -hmm. crushing dreams, but I think stereo <laughs> sub is <laughs> crushable. With, with, uh, I will say yeah, we can crush that dream. Stop dreaming. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. I feel like at least at the state of like systems nowadays, doing a stereo sub is inevitably you're gonna get cancellation. Even like even a even a pristine perfect yeah. like element five, like where the sub is just cranking. Yeah. The people doing the like the acoustic, like the actual like audio engineering for that setup, most of the time they have some sort of filtering that monos the right, sub. And so if right, you have any right, sort right, of right. because what makes something stereo is the face the phase offset between the left and the right. That's how your yes. brain detects anything as stereo. So as soon as it's monoed, the more stereo it is, the more it doesn't exist, basically. Mm -hmm. But I will say there's a thought to be explored here in that what if systems evolve to a point where we start doing shit in a room that's beyond just like, you know, one sub. We make the right. sub stereo. Yes. You put the subs on the left and the right of the room, not the stage. Oh. Yeah, maybe we have the subs on the left and the right, so you get or then or then that if you want. What if you have four front and back? Well, the problem, and then you that, get to right? we go fucking. Yeah. The problem with we that is now we put dimension. some over our heads. Oh yeah. god! Oh god! And then underneath our guys, feet. we put them in we put a, a circle. Put a subwoofer inside people. <laughs> <laughs> Neuralink with a subwoofer. You got to boof a yeah. subwoofer <laughs> when you walk <laughs> in the door. It's the cost of entry. You take this little thing. That's a subwoofer. The the problem. Enjoy. <laughs> the problem with that is it's Get in there. basically directionless. Like it doesn't matter if the sub's <laughs> behind you or in front of you. It doesn't really matter. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So sure. we have sure. to figure out that. It's a sobering. Thought. Well, if one is yeah. if it's one is on and one is not, <laughs> then it will be very <laughs> different. Nice, true. I love how much debate this sparked, though. This is great. I love the the, right. the dream well, crushers <laughs> over here. Next question. <laughs> well, good uh, job, Vorsos Sopapia Shop. Vorsos Sopapia Shop. Yeah, yeah Jesus. The Russian plant. Yeah, <laughs> definitely Russian. Are plant. we gonna get in trouble if we go overtime? I'm having too much fun and I'm hitting the. the we're oh, we're here. no, no, it's we're good, dude. We're no, chilling. We're, yeah. we're toward the end. Yeah, but we're uh, we're fine. We, we have no time restrictions. The end is coming. Um, Question from Tipper's Banana Slippers. Uh, oh, they really do be asking questions. And they say, what's a tip for getting your music to translate to bigger system? Stereo sub. That's the, that's you read that in all caps. I love that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. 
It's just British. They just speak in all so, caps. So yeah, they as don't far have, as I know, yeah. they don't have lowercase. No, yeah, they, they don't. don't no. no, not in English. Don't know about That's that. why we That's broke away as Americans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we could. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, calm down. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, can we just why like speak a little bit? <laughs> all right. What was the question? <laughs> kind of the opposite. What's the tip meanwhile, for What's the getting tip? your music to translate to a bigger system? Oh, right. Yeah, in it. That's it. In it. Oh, okay. Brilliant. I, do you want me to jump in with you, that one? You can go or? start. Yeah, yeah start it off, yeah. Andre. I mean, I would say the bottom end And matters. your time's up. All right, yeah, moving on. Nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would say the bottom end doesn't matter. Yeah. Make no. it stereo. None of it matters. Welcome Just clip it. Yeah. back to the 2024 <laughs> yeah. presidential debate. All right, your time's up. Yeah. Next question. Yeah, can we ask a president this question? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good fucking question. Yeah. I mean, uh, on Twitter, you can. You can. You can. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, sorry, X. X. My bad. Uh, so, yeah, what do you... Well, what's a tip for getting it to translate? Well, honestly, bottom end matters a lot more with a big system. Like, they okay. have a... Like, you think about the size of a subwoofer, it's this fucking 12 yes. to 20 inch circle that is pushing air yeah. backward and forward. And that is probably doing work from 120 hertz downwards. So yes. everything that's happening there, you feel it a lot more. So, like, and, like, from, like, the shape of the sub oscillation to, like, the volume difference between your kick and your It's also turned way up more yeah, than all, whatever yeah. natural curve is. Mm. You're going to feel that not only in your ears, but in your bowels. So mm. it's, it's mm. really yes, it's happening. That 40 the hertz note. taint rumbler, yeah. you know? <laughs> the taint rumbler. <laughs> I call this song the taint rumbler. I hope taint you enjoy rumbler. <laughs> taint rumbler is a good tune. From Dan yeah, yeah. It's taint rumbler like in Spectre. Yeah. <laughs> that's, we, we that's, that's a taint rumbler. That is that's a, a taint, taint rumbler. rumbler. But yeah. Ooh, it gets a little bit of the fucking squirrely at the end. The, the tail thing, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing I will say. Ah, uh, that, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I noticed that you wrote "ah" <laughs> uh, in the yeah. chat. Can you send that? Oh, here, guys? <laughs> that was just that was just <laughs> that was in the chamber. <laughs> there you go, guys. Jeez. This is what this is what we played in the chamber. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, there. Um, it's but, a copycat song in the making. Yeah, that's what my song says. The other thing uh, I would say is the bigger the system, the dumber the song has to be. Like if you're playing yeah. in like a, you know, like fucking living room, even if the sub is good or whatever, like you can get more detail out of it. If you're playing Red Rocks where there's reverb and the sub has to travel like half a mile, <laughs> and well, like all the all the frequencies have to travel like half a mile, you can't get away with as much detail. So yeah, you have yeah. to dumb things down a lot. Yeah. Like the, the and then like it's I think a pretty quick actually... roll off. I feel like. Oh yeah, mm. yeah, for sure. Like, the... <laughs> like even in a fucking shitty little like club room that we've played in, it's like. You're you're mixing and here in the kitchen we'll be mixing. Oh. And it's like, ooh, I gotta fucking get this like dialed in and our in my mix. And then you're mixing in the fucking big club, you're like it doesn't sound like much is happening at all, really. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Everything's like, just... You have to be, like, yeah. more drastic to, yeah. like, yeah. show the thing you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Which Th is fun. That's why trap... I mean, like, trap is cool, trap but, like, that's why it. trap pops off yeah. on a big system, because it's like... Hell, yeah. And then the snare is, like... Sure. Just, just all like you know like top end so it's like big bottom end big top end and then it'll be like yeah some little pluck like it, it's dumb and like I, I love trap so I'm saying that with utmost respect it is dumb. oh absolutely but it sounds good like and, this is and America like, yeah this is America trap is dumb this is America God bless yep. America yep. all right well trap, next, trap next is question. dumb God bless America <laughs> um, question <laughs> coming in to us from frequent delinquents. Oh, uh, that's a homeless shelter down in Colfax. <laughs> I actually live there, believe it. Yeah, yeah. that's your homeless shelter. <laughs> yeah, that's where the uh, spaceship yeah. picked you up. They're letting you stay there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all good. Guys, they have <laughs> vacancies. So. It's a generous place. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you were eaten alive by excisions, something Robo tells me this Kitty. isn't a production question. <laughs> no. <laughs> what single piece of advice? Would you leave for producers? Uh, it tails off in oh. <laughs> oh, so. It really, it really like the uh, last. Wait, moment. wait, what was that? What was that first part? Okay, give it again. Give it, it again. If you were eaten alive by Excision's Robo Kitty, mm. whatever the fuck that means, 
<laughs> you don't uh, know about Excision's Robo Kitty? Nope. I, don't, I have no idea either. Damn. Oh, none it, of you. Enlighten us. What, what, what is that to yes. know about Damn. Excision? Damn. Okay. You're the one cruising <laughs> X. Holy so. shit. I will. <laughs> I will spread the is word ex- of excision, excision on this podcast. Is uh, an ex artist? Ex. No, he's a, he's a yeah, country he's artist. On X. He's a country. Oh, I mean, he's a country artist who takes. Oh, uh, okay. A lot, okay. 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 Go on. Cool. Um, I don't. It, maybe like 2016. <laughs> he. So you guys have seen <laughs> Excision's visuals, right? You yeah, kind of get I his whole Shrek like one bio and... fucking insanity. Yeah, well, well, the Shrek one is different. A DMX tribute band? He's all like sci-fi, cyber mech fucking guy. He did one that was just a cat. (laughs) And the song was like Robo Kitty. So it's just a giant mech kitty. I see, I see. That shoots flamethrowers out of its ass at the crowd. Okay, nice. Yeah. Ass? And, and out of its ass. Yeah, I didn't know that till recently. I love that it's out of its ass. Yeah. And it eats random people. Because they do like to show the butthole. Uh, yeah, those produces. kitties. They yeah, do. It forces they do. them to give advice before they die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly. What is the advice that you would give? <laughs> if you were eaten oh, alive oh, 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 by Excision's oh, oh. robot, to quickly kitty. segue. It, okay, I feel like like what is the focal point of this question? There's just so much de- like okay. So if Twitter's I weird, dude. Down, I, I mean, I think you should read into it heavily. Yeah, let's, yeah. let me read. Let's into this let's heavily. really What's really really line? really go deep into that question. My first, I'm just gonna like just to just yeah, sort of, yeah yeah like, yeah yeah. You wanna ADHD yeah. Brain. I'm gonna mm-hmm. isolate this question on the piece of paper. Yep. yep. The first. Th- Query I have is how long does it take me to die if I get eaten by excision? Oh, robot? thirty minutes. That's a Will good that, point. Thirty minutes. No, thirty on, seconds. On no. I'm thirty on seconds. It's I'm quick. Zero Look advice. it up, Jamie. I'm given zero advice after 30 minutes of it's being chewed on. <laughs> That's like, fair. Oh well, no, you have. What, what advice will you have I give? Thirty minutes to decide. You got thirty minutes to decide. Is it? Oh, is it like As 30 minutes of idling and then I die instantly? Is it? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, you're okay. getting like so chewed time. alive for 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm not so trying to So your only help thought producers. is to help producers. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I'm kind of <laughs> with you on that, actually. Yeah. So your advice like is... I like I would ah! do that, but... Yeah, well, that's... Exactly. That's what we do. Right, get. yeah. Ah, f- I might just say, ah, fuck ah, the system! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is your advice right here? No. Nah. Between screens. Yeah. Right. I, I, would probably, I would probably say, don't do social media. Yeah. Mm. Fuck I think, you. I think that's probably the best answer we're going like to get. That answer. <laughs> I don't think we can go further than that, honestly. Um, <laughs> if, I would say try not to get caught by the Robo Kitty oh, as, as yeah. I'm dying. That's probably my advice to future producers. Mm. So in that they in don't the get asshole caught. flames? Try or the not mouth? to get or caught or by the Robo Kitty. In the Kitty. mouth. Because in the mouth, it Excision's forces. Excision's one, especially. Right. Excision's it one forces especially. you to give advice, and I don't want to give advice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I feel like the person who wrote this question wanted genuine advice, but now they're regretting putting <laughs> putting like such a silly spin on it. I mean, yeah. just they probably regret it, it so bad right what, now. What kind of <laughs> dumbass would ask yeah, that question? Why would anyway? someone be so like, fucking idiot. stupid as fuck? Idiot. I can't imagine. Oh, I wish they would just die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, folks, thanks for uh, our sponsors. <laughs> this week, Pornhub, um, our, our, for the first week. time, it, obviously. X, X yeah. of course. Yeah, we're sponsored by Elon Musk personally through X. Um, big shout out to Musky Musk Boy. Yeah, he's starting uh, up his OnlyFans this week. I heard. Go check that out. That's got to be fascinating. Shout out OnlyFans. him just fucking every woman. Apparently, yeah. not a bad one. Every woman. We're <laughs> that's crazy. He does. <laughs> he goes hard. That guy does not all at stop once, working. like in an orgy. From what I hear, he doesn't stop working. No, it's a lot of. Fun. He sleeps on the assembly line yeah. floor, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's with a, where the with women are on a the assembly different line. woman <laughs> each <laughs> time. They have women coming through the assembly Actually, line, <laughs> sleeping with him. Um, yeah. Folks, and before <laughs> before we let you go here, folks. Okay, yeah. We're gonna do a quick rundown of what we learned today. <laughs> oh, oh, here's <laughs> the here's the quiz time. You were listening, right? Thing, you ready? Let's go. What do we talk about first? Question one. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, God, let's what a, let's go. Buster Maverick. No. Crazy question. Uh, first thing just, I remember. Just do the... No. First, we talked about some mid-range things. Oh, oh. mid-range things. Then we moved on to yes, scoops. Yes, Manchester. Scoops. Mid-range oh, things, scoops. Scoops. Then we talked about EQ and the master. Oh. We talk about that. And uh, dispersing the master. Highs. High-end yes. fiddling. Mm, then we talked about high John. Clarity. We did talk. Did we talked about. We talk talk about John. We, uh, of course, we talk about John. This is the producer talk, lounge. We always talk about talk John. About John. <laughs> <laughs> then we talked about noise bass. Oh, you got an example there. Nice. And uh, disperser and a bonus of three k plus on your drums with disperser. Put yeah, that shit on there. I'm interested mm. in that. Mm. Mm. Um, Melda and Melda Freeform. 
talked about that and its uh, juiciness. Yep. Mm. Yep. And M wave folder. We talked. We talked about asymmetry. You can uh, gain access to through wave folder. And then we hopped into Sorry, the bit wig for a little bit, and uh, here we are, folks. Damn, yeah. fucking. I like yeah. Yeah. out all of the de- degenerate shit. Of course, <laughs> kept in all of, the things of course. Th- this makes it easy for the, the the YouTube later. I can just. Yeah, yeah, you cut it all. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I knew that's why you started doing it. Yeah. God damn it! I mean, I yeah. started doing Beautiful. it earlier than us talking it's about beautiful. it. But then I was if like, if he oh, was really smart, he'd put timestamps okay. next to all those things. The yeah, I used yeah. to do that. Fuck that. That takes so long. <laughs> this was do. honestly such a fun episode. This was yeah, great. So yeah. This was so much fun. Thank you for being here, man. Yeah, it was pretty this bad. Was, this Thank was you amazing. very, very much. Um, uh, yeah. Is there like uh, <laughs> things you would like to so, promote, sir? Um, things you would like to promote. Um, I make music. Uh, I don't know. C O P Y C A T T. He uh, makes music. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's, that's all I got. Wow. Actually, I got to run a show with Carl coming up. Uh, Black Carl. Um, oh, yeah. fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, whoa, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry? I nope. felt like that nope. related. Nope. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Florida. If you're in Florida, um, Google Black Carl and Copycat. I, it, I'm just saying that because yeah. I really cannot... Florida. Think, uh, gotten, yep. That, yep. Yep, Florida. Amen, brother. That show's going to be it. fucking sick. Florida. Black Carl is a heavy hitter. He is. That yes. dude is awesome. Word. Check that show out if you're in Florida. It's beautiful. It's Please fun. check that show out. Yeah. Um, sweet. You're a copycat with two T's on the yeah. end on Instagram, yeah? Damn. Yep, it's copycat. Yeah. I-T-S-C-O-P-Y-C-H. Yeah, he does lessons and shit. Go oh. check his shit out. Yeah. Do Everybody. Check out his lessons. lessons. Do it and follow us and whatever. Spot, and subscribe. And, okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Chad, thank you for being <laughs> yeah. here. Thank you, everybody, for showing up tonight. Bye. Bye, folks. We'll Bye. See you. We'll see. Bye, everybody. We'll, we'll see you later, maybe.